In this video, we're going to have a quick look at Netvibes. Netvibes is a customizable homepage, um, and it's a great way to start organizing your digital life. Um, if you're anything like me, you basically often find yourself going to the same news sites every day. Um, and Netvibes is a way to pull all of those news feeds into one place so you can keep track of things without having to go to six or seven different uh, places. So first up on here, on the front page, I have the weather. I've got my email, Gmail, uh, Facebook, you see BBC News, campaign news feeds, Guardian, We Are Social, and Read Write Web, Web, Read White, <laughs> Read White Web, Write Web. Um, the other thing Netvice is really good for is basically just having uh, specific tabs where you can keep uh, track on specific subjects, whether it's uh, digital marketing or technology or planning or anything like that, and also clients' businesses. So this is one uh, I made called What's Up Tesco for one of my uh, clients and it basically just has a look at anything tagged with Tesco so does a Tesco search on Twitter images on Flickr uh, any mention of Tesco on Google News and sort of uh, YouTube and things like that and the way Netvibes works is you just click on a tab you need to create this so that's what we'll do next um, and if you see something interesting in your sort of uh, overview then you just click on diffusing the corporate social media time bomb and from here you can sort of scroll down read the articles uh, you can see it in its uh, all its website glory with the adverts. We'll just go back to the feed view. And then from there, you can start to sort of uh, click through and see some of the other uh, articles that are on there as well. Okay. So I find it incredibly useful. And in the next couple of minutes, I'll just be showing you how to get started. Okay, so first up, um, I'm just going to open up Firefox. And I say just go to netvibes.com and um, you need to create an account. So what we do is we click on get started. Uh, we'll go for the basic one, the free one, and just go for default as the uh, popular dashboard. Okay. So this is it. Um, it knows where we are, so it's given us some um, uh, various bits and pieces. We'll skip the wizard for now because that's me. Uh, let's get rid of the branded content because we don't want that the Michael John Boutique. So what we do want is, that's fine, we'll keep the weather, uh, we'll get rid of YK1, whatever that is. And then we've got BBC News, Twitter, Facebook. It's automatically logged me into Facebook, that's fine. One of the things about the Facebook app is I can just click on this timeline arrow here and just minimize that, okay? Um, the other thing we can do is we can also add our own uh, emails. So I'm going to log into, uh, let's just log into Gmail here. Let's see if I remember my password right. Yes. Okay. And connect to Twitter as well. To be honest, I don't really look at Twitter that much on Netvibes. It's more of a mobile thing for me, but we'll keep it there for now. Uh, and we get rid of this e-week nonsense as well. Okay, so we've got something approaching something fairly useful. We can move things around. If you move the cursor to the middle part of the gray header, you can drag things around. You wait for the box to appear, and then you can just uh, drag them in order of uh, order, in order of importance. Let's take Flickr, interesting stuff, and stick it over here. Sometimes you'll find it'll take a while for the box to appear. Uh, just uh, obviously bear with that. Um, okay, so first up, we need to start thinking. We've got a basic sort of uh, news feed there, but what we really want to do is start uh, adding our own content. Uh, so let's uh, go to uh, We Are Social. Social media agency, good uh, place to get social media news. And all we need to do is make sure that the website itself has an RSS feed. Uh, blogs like this clearly do. <coughs> and uh, Netvibes is smart enough to be able to find the RSS feed on there. So what we do is we go up and we copy the URL, come back to Netvibes, and we click on Add Content. Uh, this time we're going to add a feed. So I click on that, I paste in the address, click on Add Feed. Sometimes two or three come up, but sometimes it's just one and then we just drag it down into here, okay? So that's the first one. We'll repeat the process now. So we'll also go to, uh, what's another good 
blog that's worth keeping an eye on. I'm a big fan of uh, Jason Cocker's blog. So let's uh, take that. And again, it's nothing to do with advertising, by the way. It's just kind of fun, interesting stuff. Again, we've already got the ad content section open. So we can just uh, highlight that, paste it in, and here's Jason's uh, blog. Okay, so what we need to make sure we do is, uh, I'll just shut down this add content section here. And we need to make sure that we've, uh, that all the sites we're trying to bring in have RSS feeds. If you go to a banking site, there's no point in get, bringing a banking site in. It's, it's mostly for news feeds. And if I click on this little gear button here, I can just rename it and call it Kotka. And what I can do is I can choose different things. So I can say, you know what, I only want five articles to show there. And there's different views you can show, so you can have a uh, ticker, so you can just have a news feed which is scrolling across in front of you. Generally, I mean, try them all out. Personally, I go for just normal. Um, it's straightforward and it allows you to fit a lot of stuff in. It's the same with the BBC here. They've got this lovely widget, but a lot of the time I don't really want all that uh, information up there. So another thing I'd do is just go to the BBC and just uh, copy the URL come back to net fives and rather than having this big widget here although it's useful I'll probably just go with add the main feed from bbc.co.uk there isn't one okay so then we go to news hopefully news would have one uh, so let's copy that let's try this back in net fives yes okay so that's fine and then let's just put this here so we've got BBC up in the top left okay um, you'll see we've got a Google search field in NetVibes. I don't see a lot of point for that. If you do a search, um, it just creates a new tab and actually it just becomes quite confusing. So I don't think there's any point in that. So I always get rid of those. You can delete the tabs by just hovering above and clicking on the cross with the circle. So we'll delete that. But what I'm going to do is get rid of this thing um, as well while we're here. So let's click on the settings icon up here. And where it says general display search, so untick that. And there's loads of stuff that you can do around here. So we can then go to the gallery, you can choose lots of different themes. Um, don't spend too long on this. And then sort of uh, in the themes, we can also add our own uh, customized header and things like that as well. We'll click on done there. Um, and the other thing we can do is where it says click type your page type at all. We'll call it Tim's home. I'm dreadfully imaginative. Right, um, the other thing we should do is we should sign up at this point. So we need to create an account. Pee pee. Okay, and then what I might do is I might start to add some new tabs. So um, if I want to tab for, uh, click on create an empty tab, otherwise it fills it with its own guff. Um, and we'll just call this one planning. And I'll go and find some smart planner blogs from there. So one of my favorite ones is Noah Breyer, um, who runs a company called Percolate, it's kind of branded content um, blog. He's absolutely phenomenally smart. Uh, so we'll add that, add a feed, paste it in. And Neil Perkin, who is again very bright, uh, kind of lots of media nuggets. Uh, oh, here we go, I saw it there neilperkin.typepad.com um, Hold on one second, someone's knocking on the front door. I should be back. Pause. Right, so we've got Neil's um, address in here and we just need to click on add feed. This will transform. And so sometimes you get options like this where you have lots of different things. It really doesn't matter which feed you actually choose. Um, most of the time, so just drag it down, have a look, check it's the right one, absolutely perfect, okay, looks good. Um, so we haven't really looked at some of the other stuff that we can do up here, there are other things other than RSS feeds that we can add. So if we click on essential widgets, this will show you a whole bunch of uh, things, so if you wanted to do, you know, to have a Twitter search tab or some, a widget, or have LinkedIn on here, you could do that, map search, let's have a look at that. I haven't tried this for a while, but generally this isn't the sort of thing that I'd have on my NetVibes page, but 
um, you know, you might like it. Um, what else have we got? MySpace, brilliant. And then we've got other categories as well. So if you've got interest areas or anything like that, we've got featured widgets, uh, which is all the sort of uh, popular stuff, uh, news things, business, sport, and we can do searches. And I suppose the final thing I'll show you, so this gives you an idea and we can obviously, I say obviously, it's not obvious at all. We can sort of drag things between different tabs. Um, so I can drag it up into planning and put it there. I can duplicate things. So I can duplicate it if I want to share it with someone or have it on a new tab and just uh, drag it back up to there. Um, I'll get rid of that for now. Oh, Google News, it might be an idea to show you that. So let's say we uh, are working on, uh, what's it, brand British Airways. Okay, so we do a Google search for British Airways, uh, click on News, and down at the bottom, there's an RSS button here. So if we click on RSS, uh, we can scroll down. I don't know if this is gonna work, actually. I've had some issues with uh, adding Google News Feeds to NetVibes, so we'll try it. Click on add an RSS feed, paste it in. I don't think this, oh. Waiting, fantastic. Okay, so it did work. I shall run you through that again. So all we do is we go to Google News and we do a search. This time we're going to search for uh, Olympics. And we can see all the results here. If we then click on the RS, RSS feed down at the bottom, it looks kind of geeky and weird, but all you do is copy the URL up at the top, click back on Tim's home, highlight all of that and paste in the new feed. And here we go, British Airways and the Olympics. And then I'd, what I generally do is if they're all clients of mine, I'd create an empty tab and I call it clients. So before I go into a clients meeting, I look as though I know what's uh, going on with their business. So drag it up there. That's Olympics. Uh, drag British Airways up there. There's one more thing I'm going to show you. Once you've created something, say you've created a tab with all of the agency uh, clients news on, you can then share it. So if you click on the, this button here, um, you can click on share this tab. You can share it as an email link, you can tweet it or share it via Facebook, let's not do that. Um, but most of the time uh, I'll just copy that and I'll share it on a website. So for example, there is one um, Tesco's listening post that I've already created. I'll just shut that again, don't delete the tab, that's important. Click on this link and I've, I've created a WhatsApp Tesco's NetVibes tab on my SparkLife Tumblr. Um, I'm now going to click on this. It will then add it to whichever NetVibes page is open in that um, in the, this browser. Uh, I imagine you'll only have one, and you click on Add to My Dashboard. You click on Add to My Dashboard, and here we have it. What's up, Tesco's? And basically, what we've got is we've got food trends from Springwise, the grocer news, uh, any mention of Tesco on Google News, any mention of Tesco on Delicious, uh, on YouTube, Tesco's, and Flickr. So it's quite a smart way of just uh, being able to get a bit of a snapshot of what's happening with uh, your clients' businesses. So I'll leave it there for now. I think that's quite enough to be getting on with. Big fan of NetVibes. I advise you to you know give it a try and see how you get on. It just allows you to save a bit of time, and also it's a good place to store all your favourite sites and sort of keep an eye on uh, you know all your favourite blogs and things like that. Uh, if you've got any questions, then feel free to blast me an email. Um, You've probably seen it all over this video, but uh, you know what it is. Uh, thank you very much for your time, and uh, I will speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.